Tukiachana na mtazamaji ni kwamba wajumbe wote ambao watahudhuria kongamano la ugatuzi ni sharti wawe wamapokea chanjo kamili ya ugonjwa wa COVID-19. Na maana jiri baada ya baraza la magavana kuzuru shule ya upili wa vlana ya makueni, au kongamano hilo litafanyika kati ya tarehe 23 na 26 mwezi Agosti. Rakel Mwigai na taarifa zaidi. Baada ya kongamano la ugatuzi kukosa kufanyika mwaka jana kutokana na janga la COVID-19, mwaka huu mipango imewekwa na baraza la magavana pamoja na Wizara ya Afya kuhakikisha kuwa awamu ya saba ya kongamano hilo itaendelea na mikakati ya afya itafuatwa inavyofaa. Since this is going to be a physical meeting, one of the issues that brought us here which we were discussing with the governor is that everybody who is attending the conference must be must have been vaccinated. Isitoshe ni mpango ambao utawalazimu hadi wale watakaotoa huduma zingine kama wana boda boda na wahudumu katika hoteli kuwa wamepokea chanjo kamilifu. But for Makweni itself they are being given a special dispensation and additional uh, vaccines to ensure that all the service providers whether you are dealing about with hotels whether you are dealing with taxi drivers whether you are dealing with border border whether you are dealing with any service provider that is going to be involved in this conference uh, should have been vaccinated against covid-19 mkutano huo utakaofanyika katika shule ya upili ya vlana ya makweni unatarajiwa kuleta pamoja wageni zaidi ya 1500 wakiwemo rais na naibu wake we want all our hotels uh, in town and elsewhere to uh, provide accommodation uh, but we believe that uh, some uh, tented accommodation will also be needed uh, so that there isn't a deficit uh, our visitors are well uh, accommodated as well as uh, our business people also being able to uh, do good business Kongamano hilo lilikuwa limepangiwa tarehe tatu hadi tarehe nne mwezi Mei ila likahairishwa kutokana na janga la COVID-19. Kongamano hilo litakuwa likiangazia masuala ya kubadilika kwa hali ya anga na jukumu la serikali za kaunti katika kuangazia swala hilo. Rakel Mwigai, Runinga Citizen.